Well, this is the next day, and I'm sure that this is cooked for at least four hours. And I'm going to turn the heat off now. I just did, in fact, because I see that the meat is actually falling off the bones. It's been hard to manipulate this pig head with the, these tongs. I have another pair of bigger tongs, but it doesn't really make that much difference because my hands are small and I'm, I'm not that strong. Um, I did have to keep turning this because it didn't see the meat is falling right off it it didn't uh, it was even though this is a huge pot it was impossible to cover everything with liquid so I had to keep turning it and it, it looked pretty freaky but it did start to shrink down and it fit in much better so I can put the lid back on and let it cool enough so that I can handle it and try to get it out of there so I can scrape it and pick through it and all of this sauce is going to be uh, strained and picked through and that's got to be cooked and reduced by about two-thirds to make this gooey gloop full of all the gelatins from the head. <coughs> I've got some of this wild boar meat heating up. I put some tomatoes in it and it's got leftover garbure. This is garbure broth in here. And I'm um, boiling some water for some spaghetti for lunch. This is Swiss chard cooking. It's just got a little water in it and a little pinch of sea salt. I decided not to do anything else with it. And I have a nice big salad with walnuts and fresh mushrooms sliced into it and a little bit of orange pepper. So that with a selection of cheeses and fresh fruit and a yogurt will be lunch. I have goat milk I have to use up. Yeah, I've got beans soaking. I'm going to make some more garbure. Okay, see you later.